Welcome back to the Espresso Chateau for our now fifth episode. Long time uh, ago. Yeah. I had a moment. <laughs> I had a momentary fifth, yeah. Brain lag. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you made my brain lag a little. Sorry, it's contagious. It's yeah. a virus. Um, today we're just going to talk about probably more about movies. So we've been asked a couple things about movies specifically that I think, um, you know, we'll be able to like touch base on because I know we briefly mention movies in like every podcast because movies are a big part of our lives. Like we were raised on Disney and as you guys know, we've been to Disney World a few times and so we've recently been asked how, you know, like movies kind of like that we like, our Hollywood crushes, and I figured I'd be able to talk a little bit about the production side of them since it kind of all compiles into what's essentially, I guess, my lifestyle. I don't want to speak for you, but like it definitely plays a big role in my life. For sure. And like even you telling me certain things about certain movies, now I can't like unsee those things. Yeah. Like you told me when they filmed Cars and stuff, the glasses added in afterwards. And now I can't unsee it. Like, I can just picture them in a car without windows. Yep. So. Yeah, they'll fix, like, the, like, reflection and everything. It makes post. sense. Absolutely. Because reflection. Yeah. <laughs> I was, like, almost not going to wear my glasses, but I'm not sitting on your side, so the glare doesn't come from that side. Also, they'd just be seeing us. Yeah. True. And we can start off with Hollywood crushes because I had a very big one. Zac Efron. Zac Efron. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. From day one? A high school musical really pulled my heartstrings from the very first one. And then they just got better and he got Okay, but what do you think of him better now? And... He's, he's still a great actor. Okay, but that's not like crush worthy. Mm, crush was him just in high school musicals. You liked 17. Oh, it's in, yeah, but it was like the same like era. Like shaggy Bieber hair. Link from Hairspray? Yeah, like that genre, musicals, and him as a teenager. Yeah, he got some work done recently because he broke his jaw. And he's massive. I'm assuming it's... For that new movie he's coming out in, that wrestling one or whatever. Iron Claw? Something like that. It's based off a real... It's based off a real story, but I don't know what that is. So. Yeah. I haven't paid too much attention about it. But did you see the... um, What was the movie he was in before that? He hasn't been in... I remember a movie recently, really, besides that one. Wasn't he in Baywatch or something? Yeah, but was that like his last one? No. Oh, I don't know what he was He did in. like Dirty Grandpa and Bad Neighbors. and. But High School Musical was a big part of my life growing up. And 17. Absolutely. I think I had 17 posters or 19 posters of him on my wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had High School Musical bed sheets. You had a six foot sticker, remember, for your um, wall? Yeah. Life size sticker on my wall. It was from him from, like, High School Musical 2? Mm-hmm. He was in the white with and the red, red sleeves and jeans. Saw him every morning and every night. So <laughs> random. And I wouldn't... I'd say I have a movie crush now. It'd probably be Tom Holland, maybe. Have you seen him in his new stuff? No. I haven't seen the new movies either. I stick to what I have a crush on them in. So, like, I had a crush on him in Spider-Man, so that's... My crush of him. Fair. He played a good Peter Parker. Mm Mm-hmm. I agree. I haven't seen any of his new movies, though. But. It's hard to find them, unless they come out on Netflix or Disney. Yeah. Probably not watching them. That's fair. Or until they come out on those. Yeah. I don't even know what they'd be on. I don't know. There's, like, too many streaming services. Like, in terms of movies, like they're always so like divided. It's yeah, like I want to watch this one. It's on Hulu. I want to watch this one. It's on Paramount. Yeah. Like, it's. Remember when it used to all be on Netflix? Those were the days. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. Who was your? When I was younger, <laughs> easy Johnny Depp, hundred percent. Oh yeah. I don't know why. 
I just loved all his movies, like The Secret Window, Pirates of the Caribbean. Like, I loved all of it. Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd was a big one, one of my favorite musicals. The Headless Horseman. Was that him? Oh, yeah, but it's called something else, I'm pretty sure. Hollow isn't it? something? Hollow, yeah. But, like, I. He's also just an amazing actor, too. Yeah. Like, you can't not almost fall in love with him. Because he just, like, goes so deep into the role. Yeah. So, I would say, like, that was, like, easy for me. Granted, like, that was forever ago. Now, I'd say, uh... I actually don't think I have a Hollywood crush right now. If I'm being honest. Like, I just... I don't think I've had one for a while, though, since I, like, started analyzing everything. Yeah. So... Did working in production kind of ruin it for you? No, I just see movies from a different light, but I mean, I just, uh, I guess nobody in, like, the movie world is grabbing my eye right now because I feel, personally, like, with everything, with the pandemic and then the strikes, um, nothing had come out for a while, you know what I mean? So everything was kind of, like, almost standstill. Mm Mm-hmm. And then not only that, I feel like we're in kind of some sort of rut in Hollywood. This is just like a personal opinion, so please don't come at me. It's a personal opinion. opinion. But like, I kind of feel like Hollywood's running out of ideas because we just keep making remakes. We'll take animated ones, make them live action. We'll like, but like the stories are the exact same. Like they're all following the exact same formula, which I understand movies to a point have to follow that formula, but it's like, we haven't come out with anything like that's new and like mm-hmm. oh that was such a good like you yeah. know I showed Kevin a movie yeah two days ago what movie it's a classic okay. and he loved it he's like I want to rewatch it I wish I could go back and rewatch it for the first time again because the storyline was so different for its like first time time yeah and if you haven't seen this movie you don't know that storyline okay ready for it she's all that. She's all that. She's all that. The, like, 90s film. Yeah. And he loved it, eh? Loved it. That's so funny, because I was thinking about watching that the other day. It's such a good movie. Like, it's such a good movie, and I was just like, I wish I, like, I could watch it again easily, back to back. You should show him 10 Things I Hate About You, or whatever. Yeah. Like, that same, like, era. It's the same era, but he was just like, he didn't know, like, the whole (laughs) storyline. Mm-hmm. And he had never, like, seen even, like, similar ones to it. So when I showed it to him, he was just, like... Show him 16 Candles. <laughs> I even watched that. It's funny, actually. That one's, like, interesting. Molly Ringwald. Like, way back when she was little. Mm-hmm. And the guy that's in She's All That, mm-hmm. Fred, from Scooby-Doo, he's actually married to Daphne in real life. Yeah, did you ever see her in that one movie, um... Where she's like the bad sister, stepsister, or something like that. The whole movie, all she does is like coke and like set Reese Witherspoon up for failure. What is that called? Practic? <laughs> no, not practical magic. What the fuck? Um, but those movies are just like classics, and like I feel like once you, if you haven't seen the classic before, then you don't know that storyline. Like Pretty Woman, I watched that the other day. There's no other storyline, mind you. You probably can't even make that storyline movie anymore. Yeah. But Sarah Michelle Geller. This Cruel is- Intentions. There we go. Sorry, I had to get that off my chest. That's okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, I have not seen it. I haven't seen you watch like the real classics, and I should. I feel bad for not seeing them. It's like Baby Ruth Witherspoon in that movie. And, and she's so a good weird. actor, too. Yeah, she's a fantastic actress. Yeah. She's, yeah. I want to know how Jennifer Aniston doesn't age. She's great. And her rom-coms. Those are my feel-good movies. I will say one of my favorite feel-good movies is the Just Go With It movie. Adam Sandler and her. Yeah. They're like best friends and it makes me happy. I know. (laughs) But also like like Adam Sandler, like if you want like a teenage daughter or something in a movie and it happens to be filming in Hawaii, like (laughs) I can act. I can act. I'm not a teenager anymore, but... I can act like mine. Most teenagers usually are, like, mid-twenties when they're acting. Well, yeah. Have you seen the cast of Outer Banks? <laughs> yeah. Are they making another season? I think so. 
Everything, so the thing with Netflix is like everything was on pause because of the strike that just mm-hmm. ended. Like it just ended. And I think some of them might actually still be on a strike. I just don't know what, when. Like Emily in Paris, they just started filming and I'm like, you mean I'm going to have to wait till December, the end of 2024 to watch more of it? Yes. So it's the same thing with Ginny and Georgia. I really like that show. Oh, so, so that good. was I like on pause. Show. It was supposed to release this year, but I think they start filming the third season in February. So it's like, we have to wait. Unless they do a thing where like they try to film and put out as well. Or like they like, release the first half, and then they release the second half. Yeah. But they're only, they've only been promised four seasons of that show. I don't care. It's, it's I know, but it's show. sad, but I like it. There's only two seasons, right? Right now, yeah. But so they're they got going to go. I know, but like, no, just make it go on forever. She's a good actor too. The mom. Oh yeah, I know. I've seen her in a Yeah. Seasons. She's a really good actor, too. That was a good show, actually. If you guys haven't seen Ginny and Georgia, it's on Netflix. Super good. Yeah. And funny. And, like, dark. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> like, it's... The, there's some hidden... Backstory. <laughs> At least once. Every episode. Mm. Stop it. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Lou. Don't look at me like that. On pause. Okay, anyway. Um. <laughs> I like to just re watch shows i know i do the same because it's just like a comfort thing i could start a new show but then i gotta pay attention whereas i could just put on gilmore girls that i've seen five times and Mm -hmm. be content with what i'm doing except the one that really like hook line sinker pretty little liars Ah. oh my gosh i I was was obsessed and then the end is such a plot twist it just i told you pieces together in the last two episodes mind blown now you just gotta watch gossip girl i don't know where to find it i don't know either but it is good i think it's on like apple tv or something and i'm not buying apple tv i told you there's too many and like 90210 that i never really got into but apparently it's really good i thought you watched it all the time Mm -mm. i watched a couple episodes of the oc Mm. but that's about it we like to watch those kind of reality, like, I don't even want to know what you call them. Like, Selling Sunset and Selling the OC. Trash TV. I call it trash, like junk food, but for your brain. Basically. But it's so addictive, and it's like, oh, Too hot to yeah. handle? Yeah. Too hot to handle. It's they fantastic. Come out with one of those in a while. The strike. <sighs> Dang strike. That's sorted now, though, hopefully. It is, yeah. But still, I'm like waiting for all these, and then they're all gonna come out at the same time, and I'm gonna be like, How, "What? What do? What do I watch first?" <laughs> overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, I will be overwhelmed. Um, I can even think of like what I usually go to. To watch? Yeah, like I like right now it's Wizards of Waverly Place or Hannah Montana. Right now, mine's Bob's Burgers. I just watched all of it, and it just makes me happy, like in a dumb way. Like the jokes are stupid. Like it's so like it's just good it's good funny like moment and i need that so i was like yes i like it so i've just been re-watching it yeah i like the animated ones too sometimes it's like really turn your brain off yeah and honestly i recommend bob's burgers i think it's so funny i was watching phineas and ferb the other day because <laughs> it's like also very stupid their musicals are the best yeah which one did they just do the, the beach one okay the roller coaster is the very first episode. I know. But it's not a musical, the first one. No. It's like they redo it. They're like, let's do it again. <laughs> yeah. Like you've run out of ideas. Imagine what life that would have like been. Like I wish that was real life. I wish it was that smart. To just make whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. Aren't you a little young to be this? Aren't you a little young to be this? Well, I do. They always do what? Elementary school? Yeah, but they always rebuttal. You do not get 104 days of summer vacation. How long in that elementary school? 104 days is like three in a week. Three months in a week, three months in two months, two weeks. You get July and August off. 
And then if you're in the States, you get, like, June and July. Like, half of June, half July, and half of August. So I don't know what school they're going to. To get 140 Are you days. sure? There's 30 days in a month. Yeah. So 140 I guess, days. yeah, it would be, what, like... Three months and, like, two weeks. Yeah, what school are they going to? Right? I wish break was that long. Yeah. Like, okay, maybe they don't have, like, winter break or... <laughs> Any PD days or any exam time. Unless they're in college. No, because that's the last episode. They go away to college. Yep. So they're in high school. No. It just skips, I guess. <laughs> they're going grade 8 straight to high school. I guess. Grade 8 straight to college. Yeah. Impressive. I, I mean, if you're building roller coasters, so do you even have to really go to college? That's true, actually. They probably, like, fast-tracked or something, but that doesn't make sense because Isabella leaves, too. I don't I don't know. I don't get the show, to be honest with you. Well, I'm watching it, so I'll see if it <laughs> makes sense. There's got to be a movie in there or something. <laughs> they do have a movie, don't Because, like, Candace is in high school. <laughs> she, Ashley Tisdale, also a great actor, and I wish she was in more. Me, too. She's very family-focused now, though, right? Yeah. Same with Hilary Duff. Hilary Duff is still in shows though. She's doing that. What I um, met your father. I've never. I never got into that though. Did you not watch How I Met Your Mother? No, I did, but like, I just found that like so some shows like I find super memorable where like I'll remember specific jokes or specific episodes or this mm-hmm. that. But for some reason that show like I can't, pit, like I can't remember a specific thing that was like yeah you have to watch this and then I never really just even started How I Met Your Father. I watched How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Father, I find with most most TV shows now, it's too animated. Like, it's too predictable. It's, it's too... too jokey. Not even jokey. It's, like, very, like, it's... Pause for laughter. <laughs> yeah. Like... Very scripted, too. Yeah. Like, same with um, that 90s show. Uh, I don't even think I... I think like I watched it was the three episodes, maybe? Or something. I think there only was, like, three episodes. Yeah. And I did not like it. I was like, this it is... wasn't good. No, it was like not it didn't good hit all. the same. No, I'm glad they had like the same actors. Absolutely. I, and I like when they do that instead of just mm. trying to put somebody else in. Recast it. Yeah. Yeah. That's like how they did it in the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I didn't watch that. Really? Mm. They changed the mom like four seasons in, five seasons in, something like that. And they still call her mom. They acknowledge that the actress has changed. They do? Yeah. He's just like, you're looking different today while staring straight into the camera. <laughs> and I didn't watch it after that, though. Because, like, you get so attached to all the main people. Yeah. So I was like, I'm done watching this. That's fair. I don't know. Movies and TV, I feel like, are just such, like, a specific thing. You either hate it or you don't, like, or you love it, you know? I Yeah, I go through phases, for sure. Like... I can't remember the last time I I went to the movie theater, and I used to go all the time. I actually went last week, and... To see what? The Boy and the Heron, the new Studio Ghibli film. By yourself? No, I went with Serge. Oh, you were in Texas. Right. I wanted to see the one with Sydney Sweeney. Just the two of us or something like that? Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen that one. The hype around Mean Girls has been so much, which I don't even like the new, like, I have no, I am not inclined in any way to watch the new Mean Girls. Mm -mm. It's a musical, it's a sequel, it's, it doesn't make sense. Mean Girls is originally a musical. But, like, they were basing it off the movie, right? Because, like, yeah, I haven't seen it. I, I probably won't watch it until it comes out on something again. I'd love to go see, like, an actual musical, like a play. Yeah. Mamma Mia. Yes. Preferably. I concur. I'll go with you. But I would also like to go see the ballet. The ballet? Yeah. Which one? The Nutcracker. Again? I've never seen it. When I was in elementary, I went and saw that every year. Oh, I meant like a Toronto or like New York like ballet. The, the big the ballet. ballet. Yeah. yeah. You know what? That's fair. Mm-hmm. I, I would do that. Even if I know the Nutcracker story, 
Oh, my heart. I think everybody does. Like sugar plums, rat king. Do you even know what happens or is that all you know? <laughs> There's a she rat. She stabs him. And that's about it. Ratatouille. Yeah. <laughs> Cooks. <laughs> also, did you watch, um, did you watch Full House? Yes. Did you watch Fuller House? Yes. It was cute. So sad that that ended. That's probably one of the best sequels they've ever done. The whole cast is the same. Yeah, the whole cast is the same. Wish the Olsen twins made a cameo. But they also acknowledge that they were too busy in New York with their fashion. But then again, I love that they pull that. Like, that's so funny to me. I think it's too when they break the fourth wall. Yeah. I, I like it. And you have to do it specifically or else it's too overdone or else it's like, why did you do that? Yeah, like when Deadpool does it. That's funny. Right. It's coming up this year, isn't it? Deadpool 3, I think, yeah. Yeah, with Wolverine. They just wrapped up, I think, filming. It wouldn't surprise me if it took, like, an entire year to edit it. Trust me, being in production, I know. Yeah, exactly. Although I think it's supposed to come out in December. Yeah, they definitely have time, especially if they were working on it pre-strike. That means they probably had some of it done. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'd, I'd go see that in theaters. Yeah. I just watched the second one for the first time. Like, just watched it. That's the one where they're at a school or something, right? They save the kids from the school. Like, the school's yeah. bad, yeah. Okay. I watched that one. That one's pretty good. I actually, we went to the drive-in to see it, and I fell asleep. <gasps> Drive-ins are amazing. I think they should be more. There should be more. They should be all year. Be cold. No, you just, I don't know, get a little port heater or something. A port heater port heater I can't. It's too late. The second movie doesn't come on until like 1.30. Really? Yeah. But it was fun. Did you use the trunk? Open the trunk and watch from there? Yeah, the first time we went, I took mom's Jeep. She let you take the Jeep? Because I didn't have a car. Yeah. And then blue the second, or red? Blue. Mm. And then the second time I took the red one. Oh. <laughs> and then the third time I took my Jeep. So where'd you sit? In the trunk. Mm. And it's then the best way to do it. A bunch of blankets and stuff? Yeah. Laid it out. Put pillows. It was cold too though. Like 2 o'clock in the morning in the summertime still gets cold. Yeah. Also we're not like a warm place to begin with. Yeah. And it gets like dewy. And then when you, like, get up to go, all the blankets are, like, cold, but dewy. It's kind of gross. Cool, but so I don't, I don't like drive-ins. <laughs> okay. I like them for the first movie, and then other than that, usually the second movie is the big movie that they're playing. That I don't understand. Yeah. It's so you have to stay. I'd rather just pay for one or yeah. two, like, and then just allow me to do whatever. Or like... Yeah. But then how would you know who paid for one, who paid for two? I don't know, go around and check. Like, you know what I mean? They're there anyway. They yeah. could just go around and check in between the films. Yeah, there's an intermission. So I'm still not into that. That's fair, that's fair. I don't know. Thinking about it, um, especially from a production standpoint, there's not much to say on the whole movie thing, aside from just, like, we've always watched them. We've always had our preferences. Like, I'm not a big fan of space ones. Space movies. Star Wars. That's literally the only one. I've never seen Star Trek. I have no inkling to watch Alien. I don't want to watch Alien. And I don't want to watch anything to do with people being in space, being stranded in space, dying in space. Like, <laughs> we watched... Exploding spaceships? Like, I can't do it. Um, what's the guy's name? It's a fear. Star-Lord. God, Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy. Galaxy. <laughs> I haven't even seen those. Really? They're funny. I've never made it through them. What, Actually, you're bored? No, but like, I don't understand what it is. And I don't know. I think I just watch movies too late sometimes. Because like, remember when Lord of the Rings came out a long, 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 long time ago? Well, for the longest time, mom would like, when we would watch it, we'd start it around like seven or whatever. And like you, whatever, super young... But, like, I was just at that age where, like, I wasn't staying up super late, too. So, for the longest time, I'd actually never finished Lord of the Rings. Because I'd get to the part where he says, you shall not pass. And i just pass the fuck out. 
<laughs> like, shall not yeah. pass is part of the movie. Literally. I Like, it took me almost a year to finish that movie. And then I thought to myself, I could just watch the end of it. And then I was like, no, I need to watch it all together. It was a determination thing. I have not watched them fully all the way through, like, as an adult. I would like to watch all of them, including The Hobbit. It's just hard to watch because The Hobbit, although it happened first, it's like the newest movies. So like everything about them is going to be like better, more updated. And yeah, I always get to the part in The Hobbit when he gets to that house in like the first 10 minutes of the movie and then I'm done. What do you do? You just sleep. I get bored. Like we should hold um, a marathon. We should. I still have to finish all. the Harry Potters that I started in December. Aren't you only on, like, the last one? No, I have to watch Half-Blood Prince and the last two. You made your way through a couple. Five. You even got Dad to watch some. Yeah, we were doing a puzzle. He helped you with the puzzle? He separated the pieces by color. Oh, he by didn't color. do a very good job. Though. By color, not yeah. even edge and... <laughs> oh, the edges were done. The puzzle was basically done. He just wanted to sort the last hundred pieces. <laughs> But I was thinking about this. I actually have this written down. You can't do two things at once. In terms of... In terms of you're either always doing one thing or the other. Like, you can't watch a movie and do a puzzle. You're either doing the puzzle or you're watching the movie. Uh, I feel like you could do both. How? Well, if you're doing the puzzle and you're listening. But you're not watching the movie. But you're listening to it. But you're not watching it. You don't glance up once in a while? Or like cooking and watching a movie? You're either going to watch what you're cutting so you don't chop a finger off, or you're watching the movie, or you're... Chopping your finger off. (laughs) Chopping your finger off, (laughs) making something on the stove, or you're watching the movie and letting the stove sit. Hmm. I don't know about that. That's a tough one, because I feel like there definitely are things you can do... I, yeah, at the same but like, time. I feel like but... not watch a movie at the same time as do something. What if it's a movie you've seen a lot of? Like, Where you're like, I know what's going on? Yeah. Okay, maybe it only works for new movies. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Harry Potters. Yeah, so do I. Not just like, like, love. Like, the movies were good. They were well done for their time. Just the acting was was amazing. I the like, story. Just and every character is so well drew, casted. The casting in it was super well done. Yeah, and there's the storyline. It was so good. I actually like ah uh, yeah, like we the whole cast was fantastic. Had watched um, Harry Potter growing up a lot, so mm-hmm. like I had watched it many times with you because you had the whole set and you were like we're watching it. You don't get a say. Fine by me. Pretty much. I showed Kevin it for the first time in 2019, 2018. Yeah, that kid just doesn't watch stuff. And he had the audacity to call me a muggle. Th- like three movies in. That's that's. And cool. I was like, excuse me. Go back to your Hufflepuff yeah. dorm room and stop talking to me. <laughs> Hufflepuff dorm room? Yeah, um, dormitory. Did he take the test? Have you taken the test? Yeah, I'm a Gryffindor. Through and through. I'm a Slytherin. I feel like he'd be like a Ravenclaw. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Hufflepuff gets too much hate for no reason. Yeah, they're just sweet people. But literally, yeah. they're nice people. Yeah. Like, I, it doesn't make sense to me. Well, I don't know. I'll, there's very few movie series that hold up through all the movies. And you think that one does. That one for sure does. Yeah. Like, you can watch all of them and they all, like, yeah. They all live up to its standard. Yeah, it's, it's like, and potential, like, I guess. Like, not potential, but, like... Yeah. Usually, if you have, like, a sequel... Ooh, I got an prequel. example. What? Take the first two mo- movies of Twilight compared to the last two <laughs> movies of Twilight. Very true. The first two... I did not like. They were like getting in the groove. Yeah. But then the last three, because sorry, it's five movies. No. Yes. Twilight, 
Mm-hmm. New Moon. Mm-hmm. Oh, Breaking Dawn and... Well, Breaking Dawn's the last one, isn't it? Eclipse is the Eclipse, third one. yeah. And then Breaking Dawn's two parts. Two parts, yeah. Those movies I like too, though. I, that's a guilty pleasure series right there, is I like watching the Twilight yeah. series. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I'm just like, do I put Twilight on? And then you're like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I am. Like, maybe I'll watch it tonight, honestly. Yeah. Maybe. Honestly, I think I might. Also, but yeah, it's very hit or miss with sequels, and you have to be a very good director to be successful. Yeah. Because I'm trying to think of another series where it kind of was like, mm, you could have done without the third. Oh, Shrek. How about, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, how about Fast and Furious? You could have done without the last five. Hey, the third one was Tokyo Drift, though. That one was necessary. I said the last five. I They're know, on Fast at 10. Okay, true. <laughs> Like, you don't need that many. It's just a lot of racing. And there's a lot of racing going on. Yeah. Or sometimes if they single out a different character for the new movie, it's like... Like, Birds of Prey, I didn't really care for. Didn't see it. Like, Margot Robbie is a great actor. Absolutely. But the Birds of Prey movie, like, she was good in it. But the whole, like, concept of the movie was like... I'm a big fan of, like, her... I liked Barbie. For the record. loved Barbie. Loved Barbie. Don't understand why people had, like, beef with it. I cried. Is someone there? Like, you're just looking like... (laughs) No, he thought mom and dad were home. You cried during Barbie? Yes. A little. Fair. Like, the last, like, ten minutes. It's kind of sad. Happy sad. Okay, happy sad, yeah. No, I liked it. It had a pretty good message, too. It did. When, what's her name? I want to call her Ugly Betty, and I know that's not her name. It wasn't America... Whatever. Something Ferrera? Yeah. America Ferrera. Yeah. But she plays Ugly Betty. Does she? Yeah. And, um... Like, when she goes on that whole speech... It's so true. Many people didn't like that she said that, but it's like... Yeah, America Ferrera. Okay, yeah. You looked at me so funny when, like, I said America. You were like... (laughs) I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure that's the actress's name. (laughs) Well, anyway, her big long tangent, her monologue was very good. I liked it. Some people did not like it. I thought it was good. I thought it was good, too. I started watching Ugly Betty. Was it any good? Yeah, it actually was. I started watching the, um... Superstore? That, I heard that's, that's funny. It's funny. Yeah. Another easy watch. Yeah. Just you put on brainlessly. Yeah. Like, that's something you can multitask with. You don't necessarily need to watch it for it to be funny. It's what they say. Yeah, I agree. Oh my gosh. Are you tired after drinking an espresso? Yeah. What the heck is it? My caffeine is whatever. It's like water. <laughs> <laughs> it don't work on me. I'm the same way, actually. I could drink so much caffeine and not feel a thing. Yeah, the amount of times we have espresso after dinner, like on holidays and stuff, like... Did you hear about that, um, Panera Bread lemonade? Oh, the one that's, like, jacked up? That's, like, apparently killed somebody? Yeah. That's crazy. And it's still on the shelf! Should we go buy it? No. (laughs) There's literally a Panera Bread ten minutes from here. I don't think we have it. Canadian side. No. Ten minutes, though. The border's five. Oh, the, okay, you mean, like, go over. No, I don't know if I'd try it. Have you tried Panera Bread? Never. Apparently it's got good food, though. Have I'm you ever not, tried it? I've never tried it. Oh. Cause it's in Canada. Yeah. We have it. We yeah. just don't have it here. Just like Panda Express. I want to try it so bad, but it's, like, only in, like, Mississauga and Toronto area. Yeah. But I'm like, I want to try it. I'm a sucker for orange chicken. Like, let me try it. Do you know orange chicken's American? American made? Well, good for no, you, No, I was just America. saying, like, it's just... <laughs> like, Inter- it's an interesting flavor choice, though. Like, we put oranges with everything. Orange with chocolate, orange with chicken. <laughs> Terry's chocolate orange can stay in the UK. <laughs> you don't like it? I don't like fruit-flavored chocolates. I don't like fruit-flavored chocolates, but I like raisins in my chocolate. Just raisins. I like chocolate covered raisins as well. But like, Cadbury does like this fruit and nut bar. So does Toblerone. 
Yes, and it's so good. I've never actually had it, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. Toblerone has actually a crazy amount of different kinds. I only know the original. Like, I've only had the original. No, the white tops. Oh yeah, those are good. They've got a full white bar too. Which, oh, that'd be way too sweet. I'm just saying. White chocolate isn't even chocolate. It's not. There's no cocoa but in it. the white it. tops are nice. Yeah. Because it gives a little... A little kick. Yeah. The whole white bar though, oh my god. The only time I'll eat an entire white chocolate bar is Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Oh my god, it's so good. It is. And it's that, 100% just the Oreo cookie in it. Literal crack. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> like, literal, like, Hershey's Cookies and Cream is the best. Oh, or peppermint bark. White chocolate. Mm. I'm not a big fan of pepperminty things. Like, mint in my anything. <laughs> like Only peppermint. I don't like spearmint. Like, anything. gum is good. But, like, I'm not about to go to an ice cream shop and get oh, mint no. chocolate chip. Jail. You know? Immediately. Like, I'd much rather cookie dough. Anything else. And Lit- if literally. If we're going and you're getting bubble gum. You used to get bubble gum. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Never. Yep. Super good. Well. I never got bubble Also, bubble gum, the gum is, like, hard. It's gross. Fro- because it's frozen. Man, ah, oh, favorite ice cream flavor? Super kid. Still? Yes. You should go get some today. They don't have any here. It's just gone forever. Man, I miss Laura Seacord. Yeah, we don't have Laura Seacord in here. Super kid. Mine's gotta be cookie dough. Uh, but there's also black cherry. Yeah, but like cookie dough is just it. There's also cookies and cream. Cookie dough is just it. Those little chewy pieces. Oh my gosh, cookie dough brownie. Mm. So good. I'm actually a big fan of pistachio now because of our France trip. When I had that pistachio gelato, I just love the flavor now. Damn, it's time for you to go to bed, huh? Yeah, literally. I've never had pistachio ice cream. And I like pistachios and I like ice cream, but... You've never had it? No. (gasps) Why haven't you tried it? Why didn't you try it? You've been in Europe! Because every time I go, there's better options, like... Tiramisu? Yeah, or espresso, or strawberry, or... Yeah, but try it! Like, you're there. Strawberry! Are you kidding me? It's so good. No, get out of it's here. It's with real strawberries, and there's, like, sometimes little chunks in it. Get pistachio mm. on your honeymoon. Or, like, orange, because it's fresh oranges. It's the same. Oh my god, and just try pistachio once in your life. I'll just like get it on a tester spoon. You're ridiculous. All I'm saying is I know what I like and I like what I like. I I I bet, new I, things, I bet but you like pistachio. I just can't imagine mixing pistachio with something creamy. <laughs> Willow's just like making herself known to the world. She was like, you've been upstairs for a really long time and you're not usually up here. No, I know. Nah, eh, it's okay. She's like, I miss you. She'll be fine. She's been sleeping on top of me. Like, <laughs> on top. Like a cat? <laughs> yeah. Well, normally she sleeps like in her own little area, but like, I had to sleep like a shrimp around her while she was sprawled out in the middle, like taking up the whole bed. Like, the whole right side of the bed was completely free. She was in the middle doing her thing and then I was like, shrimp. <laughs> like, I had to bend in the weirdest way. I didn't want to squish her, you know? Do you prefer a harder bed or a softer bed? That is a random question. But I'm thinking about nap. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. That's crazy. I can't wait to like just lay on my bed. And you're going to do that after this, huh? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of in between because like, I don't like it too firm. I like when it's soft. I like a, a cloud. But like sometimes when you sink too far in, it's like, whoa. No, I want the bed to eat me and swallow as me. As long whole. as it's not springs. No. I don't even think they put springs in mattresses anymore. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Like I, I have like a three inch thick memory foam topper on my bed. So that way whenever I, it like just like envelopes me I'm like a hot dog. I would love that. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. I've also realized what we should have for dinner. What? Poutine. Hot dogs. Oh. <laughs> you could get a hot dog with your poutine. Near your fries? That's what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. You can't tell me you're not. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm like, well, man, she walks right there. True, but you did say you swear off it. <laughs> Orange chicken. <laughs> no. 
Um, so I got asked about the VFX job. Going back, we're gonna full circle this because now we're. Just, we Wait, I got a better segue. We can't keep thinking of your favorite movie theater snack. Popcorn, or nachos with the fake cheese. Ew. I mean, what? I'm at the movie theater. The nachos. I don't really like cheese though, so that's yeah. So why. shut up. Yeah. It's, you're irrelevant. Popcorn, <laughs> and then probably sour patch kids. Really? Yeah. Some that's your of, candy. Some sort of Maynards. Sour uh, watermelon, preferably, but they don't have the, it there. Have you ever had the soft Starburst? The Chewies. Yeah. Yeah. Those are kind of good. Kind of, kind of like those. It is, but I eat too many of them. At least we like the hard <laughs> ones. It takes like five minutes for you to get it out of your teeth. Okay, you that's fair. Crush it up with the Chewies and just pop a whole. Are you more of like a sour than sweet? Like you like sour candies? I like sweet and sour. Mmm. Like Swedish s- beers. You like Swedish beers? Those used to be my all-time favorite. Mm-hmm. Now sour watermelon is. Really? Yeah. What made you change? Love it. What made you change? Sour watermelon. Like, what's not to love about it? It's sour. It's watermelon. It's sweet. Well, I don't know. Just, like, different flavors. Oh, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, or maybe this is another friggin' conspiracy theory or, like, whatever the effect that I'm not... Mandela. Gonna... Mandela. Bang. Um... Sour Cherry Blasters. They changed. Yeah, they're not called Sour Cherry Blasters. No, but, like, they changed. Like, the flavor, the everything. Yeah. It changed. It's not in a black bag anymore, either. Like, it's... No. Yeah. And also, isn't it not... Isn't it, like... It's not called Sour Patch Kids anymore? They're called Sour Patch Kids. They are? Yeah. Uh, Something changed, also, that, like, changed... I don't know what it is. Like, Skittles changing from lime to green apple? Is that real? Yeah, they changed. They came out with a whole like lime pack though. That's Starburst came out with a whole pink thing. I like when they do that, oh, but sometimes here. they do it for the wrong flavor. What do you mean? Like the pink Starburst? Mhm. Give me the yellow one. Mhm. Like or orange? Yeah, or red? Like why pink? Well, I'm not a big fan of red candies. But that's just yeah, a no, thing. me either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Grape? No. All right, we're going to have to take a quick pause here. We will be back momentarily. This podcast is sponsored to you by. <laughs> I wish. One day. Sorry about that cut. We are back. We'll be back. And we were talking about grape flavored things. Yeah, grape flavored like omit altogether. Like it's not needed in any candy. Way, shape, or form. Like even the grape sour candies themselves. True. Unnecessary. Yeah, I never understood the some of those candies. That's like the banana marshmallows though. Why do those exist? I would love to know how many of you eat them. Those are disgusting. <laughs> this is what I said. You can hear me. <laughs> Um, any, like, faux marshmallow that's not, like, a marshmallow, it's like, why did you need to make it into a marshmallow? Peeps. <laughs> I do like peeps, though. You do like peeps? Yeah, those peppermint ones were not it, but the original peeps. Easter! They slap. I'm telling you. Yeah, and they kind of like pretty colors, like the yellow and the pink and the purple. purple. I'm telling you, Easter is the best chocolate. This was a segue to back to movies, and we ended up just still talking about snacks. Yeah, I think it's because we're literally hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Mom just got sushi. Yeah, why is it not here? <laughs> we should. A little mukbang. Mukbang. Anyway, as you were what do you even remember what you were going to say about the movies? Oh, I was asked about the VFX, like, production side of things. Yeah. But, like, um, there's not much to say on it other than, like, I went to school for animation, so, like, I understand literally how both 2D and 3D animations are created from start to finish. And with that, I ended up a job in production. So, as some of you know, I've worked on some pretty big things. The most well-known thing for me to, like, easily say is, like, I worked on um, on the production, like, side of things. I was in production, um, I worked on the VFX side of things like Stranger Things or uh, Umbrella Academy, stuff like that. 
The Descendants 3, that Disney movie, I worked on that also. So that's just a couple, like, to give an example. The Meg. And I really did, yes, The Meg. I really did enjoy it, but it was very long hours. And then when the Panini hit, a lot of people question, like, what happened. The Panini hit, and I got laid off. But I also got laid off because of an... There was someone who had worked at a previous studio with me and he had gotten let go because he's literally a problem. And then he came to the studio I was working at and like got into it with me and essentially like was just in people's ears. So then I was the, I guess, collateral of that, even though I told them not to hire him from the beginning. And now he works at that company and like I can do nothing but like shun that company, honestly, because it's just like, I cannot believe you let in that. Like he's got a bad name for himself in the industry and it's like... Do you want to say his name? Do you want to no. Add <laughs> I'm going to add him. Yeah. <laughs> no. But it's just one of those things. So it's like I got laid off because of COVID and that. And like that was also a big turnoff as to why not to be in the industry because not everybody has like the best interest. No. And also like the long hours. Like we're talking like 14 hour days. Like they hire on a 12 hour day minimum some like some places and it's just kind of like it can be a lot. It's rewarding and it is so satisfying when you get to see your work up there. But like... Imagine working not at worth seven it. to seven. Yeah. Like it just wasn't never. like worth the mental because like at the end of the day in production, I'm going to be real with you all. Um, rewarding. And I did love aspects of it. I did. I'm not saying anything bad. I respect the hustle. I love it. But like, I'm not going to hide the shit end from anybody. And like, you know, like it was a lot, you know, I would get yelled at a lot. Oh yeah. And like, and like, it was just very mentally draining and I respect people who can handle it for like very, very long, but like not all studios are like that and it shouldn't be like that, but yeah. Like you're not saving lives, you know, like (laughs) (laughs) relax. Okay. They might talk to me more. So I have something to watch. Not your company, but like production in general might save my life. From boredom. That's fair. It was... Oh, I can't. (laughs) Oh my god, we might have to cut this early, huh? (sighs) No, it's okay. Selena's brain is lagging. I'm like trying to think of like what I'm going to watch for my nap. Bob's Burgers? I have Netflix right now. It's Disney. It's funny. Uh, maybe I'll just continue Wizards of Waverly Place. Ooh, National Treasure. Watch that. You know what else I want to watch? Um, it's on Crave. I can't remember. This is literally like second episode all over again when now my brain is getting the beach ball of death. (laughs) Well, we can always like cut this episode a little shorter. Since our... Episode four is an hour and a half long. <laughs> um, we will be back with longer ones when her brain is like working. This one was just kind of talking about movies. I don't think I have a favorite genre overall. I think Disney is literally my go-to for like my feel good when I want to be happy. I don't think I have a favorite genre either. Oh, I totally do. Rom-coms. <laughs> yeah, like I would take rom-com over action. Have you ever day. gone to the theater for like a pre-showing? That used to be my favorite thing when like theaters were like much bigger. Like, like so like you know how like a movie will come out on Friday yeah like that's the brand new oh, but like you, you go, go the like Thursday, Thursday before night. yeah did those you were do my, that with Spider-Man yeah those were like my favorite those are my favorite like things to go to because like you always get the best experience that's like when people will clap in the theater and like I have not that's such a good feeling watched Spider-Man 3 since we went and saw it in theaters I watched it again I, I watched don't know it. if I'm mentally prepared it's too good I literally, though, like, it is a core memory when you look over at me and, like, my mask is down around my chin. And my, you were bawling. <laughs> my eyes are soaked. The mask is drenched. Because it's such a like, good movie. <gasps> like, that was a... Oh, it really was. Like, that was a good movie. Maybe I'll watch that. You should. Uh, you might have to pay for it, but yeah. Oh, which, no, by the way, speaking... It's on... It's on what? No, it's not. It's on Netflix. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. And I will show you that it's not. I will say it is a crime. It is criminal that I was looking as to where to watch Shrek the other day, and they have the audacity to have it purchased for rent. Yeah, go on your Netflix right now. 
Go ahead, show me that it's there. <laughs> it is a crime that we have to rent Shrek. That movie should be... It's a crime you have to rent everything, especially with Amazon Prime. Like, that, yeah, bro, I don't understand that. I'm already I'm paying, paying for a subscription. Yeah. I paid to watch The Joker, and then The Joker came out on Netflix, like, a month later. So I was like, oh, that's cool. But Shrek... Oh my gosh, it's actually recently added. Okay, it was a just Two there. little words. What are those two little words? <laughs> I just, I'm being serious. You need to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. You were right. Thank you. It's on Netflix it's now, I guess. Yet. I guess you can go watch The Last Spider-Man if you guys so choose to. Highly recommend. Grab a box of tissues. And a bucket of popcorn. And a bucket for your tears. <laughs> <laughs> a watering can, because you're going to be able to water the plants yeah, after. Yeah, literally. Like, you can go outside, and your whole lawn will be green again. <laughs> from all the tears that I'm about to shed from watching this movie. Well, at least you'll have a good nap. From crying? Yeah. I'll cry myself to sleep. Yeah. Like a baby. It was a good nap. <laughs> it was a good nap. I'll wake up crying still. Yep. I'll dream about crying. Oh, such a good movie, and I'm ready to put myself into that state. Like, I have to get the mentality. Well, apologies for this one being all over the place. We were getting in the swing of things there, and then Selena got tired, apparently. And we got... You said tired. (laughs) And we got hungry, clearly. Talking about snacks. True. And I got to touch base a little bit about my production situation. That's basically it. There wasn't really much to it. It was really cool working on, you know, movies and TV shows. And I have an IMDb. I need to update it still, but like it is there. Would I do it again is the question I get most. And I'm very on the fence about it because it's like, do I want to do those crazy hours and get yelled at? I think depending on if it's worth it or not yeah plus like yeah there's There's so much to think about but like it was fun like oh yeah you meet a lot of cool people like one of the people i worked with actually worked on the very first spider-man toby mcguire they animated spider-man and for its time i know it doesn't hold up because it was very old cg but like it does like it's cool to like meet these people and like i got to meet a lot of cool people like i've met people from disney i've seen you know actors like Elliot Page yeah so that is really cool and like when you were living in Toronto with the film festival yep going to see all those things and cool like and stuff so it would be cool to get back into it but I just I don't know I like being on the different side of entertainment now do you know what I mean it's yeah. kind of interesting seeing it from both sides so like I did the post-production side and I still do the post-production side when I'm editing and like doing all that fun stuff but it's cool being on like the camera side now because like i've seen so much of this world that like i don't know i like it do you think you could act i think i could voice act do you think you could act like (laughs) like with your body (laughs) (laughs) probably i mean if it was the right role do you know what i mean a good actor can put themselves in any role well a method actor (laughs) I mean, I, I'm sure I could if I really gave it a good old college try. <laughs> yeah, like, if you think about it, <laughs> yeah, there's only, like, a handful of celebrities that really can play whatever, whenever they want. Yeah. Usually, they just go for, like, the same kind of role, right? Like, no, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is that. always that macho guy in every movie like you already know so is Vin Diesel he's exactly. like the same character in everything and pacifier equals fast and furious <laughs> the pacifier is fast and furious one for babies <laughs> literally and then like villains I find villains are very they usually always play a bad guy because they know they're good at it mind you they are yeah for sure but it's very impressive when you can see someone go into a completely different character. Yeah, I guess I can see where you're coming from. Yeah, no, I agree. Like, it's going to be hard for Tom, like, what's his name? Holland. Holland, to get out of that, like, oh, he's known for Spider-Man, but he wanted to branch out, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like... But whether he can do it or not, yeah. it's up to him being a good actor. True. I haven't watched any of his other movies, so I can't say anything on it. 
But he's an amazing actor in Spider-Man. That's fair. Yeah. You like what you like, too. Yeah. Or, like, Zendaya. Zendaya can play whatever she wants. Yeah, I've heard she's, like, pretty... Did you watch Euphoria? No, oh. but I've heard it's really good. It's weird, but it's good. Well, that's intriguing. Yeah. You kind of, like, have to watch it. Like, you'd, like, be like, oh, I don't really Isn't know. there, like, gross parts, though? Yeah. <laughs> so confident. But not, like, bodily fluid gross parts, like we talked about last time. I don't know. I heard about the hot tub scene. Oh. Yeah, but it's, like, five minutes. That's a long time! I mean, not five minutes. It's, like, five seconds. Because, and I only know about that because the actress recently spoke up about it, and she was like, it was disgusting. And I just didn't want to do it. Sydney Sweeney. Yeah, is that her? The blonde? Yeah. Yeah. She's the one who spoke up about it and she was like, I hated this scene. She did a movie recently with a guy, the one I was talking about in theaters. It's called like, Only You, something with Only You, I don't know, whatever. Rom-com? I believe so. And she does like this stunt with a spider, I guess. I haven't watched the movie, but like it actually bit her, like on the set. And she was screaming, like, it bit me, it really bit me. And then at first, her co-star was like, you're really, like, really acting this out here. And then he was like, oh, it actually bit you. Like you What could, kind like, of a spider? I don't know. I just saw, like, the interview clip of them talking about it. I was like, oh, my gosh. If a spider bit me. I feel bad about that, too, because it's like, the spider didn't need to be put through that stress. That could easily be done in CG. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, and then she wouldn't have had to get bit. Spider wouldn't have been stressed and bit her. I think it was like a movie spider. Oh, he's like famous in the insect world. Yeah. Like, he's like <laughs> the spider in Harry Potter. Oh, okay, yeah. So, like, the Arg- air dog. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was basic. Imagine getting bit by that. <laughs> well, that was, like, they skilled him up for that movie. Like, yeah. he's acting yeah. gets his turn. Yeah. It's just like a camera. Oh, my gosh. Him. It's like that night show. Uh, what was that? Um... When Smaug from The Hobbit, The Dragon, does that interview on, like, The Tonight Show or something like that. That's funny if you haven't seen it, but they, like, literally had him do, like, The Dragon do an interview on this talk show. Have you seen the one with um, Toothless? No. Where, like, the actor that plays, what's his name? Hiccup? Nope. Oh, yeah. He's, like, on in front of, like, a white screen. And they, like, animated Toothless in. And he's, like, chewing on the, like, production wires. And he's, like, <laughs> looking around. He's, like, what? He, like, mimics his moves in the background. It's uh, so cute. I it's love it when though. they do wholesome things like that. Yeah. See, that like, kind of have to do on. it. I know. But they did it anyway. So it's very nice. Damn. Okay. Well, I think it's time for me to go watch Spider-Man before I literally fall asleep on this chair. Yeah, she's gonna have a little selfish moment here. She's gotta call it quits. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> tap out. It was a good lengthy... 45 minutes, probably. Yeah, we had a little break in between for some interruptions. No, nah, don't worry about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was fun, and I think eventually, maybe we already are doing every weekend. By this time, potentially. Hopefully. If not, we're gonna... <laughs> The following month it should start. Yes. From when this, like, comes out. You know what I mean? Depending if this isn't, like... If this is every weekend. In and every weekend. Yeah. It's going to be coming up. Because we still have a lot to say. But don't forget to mention what you want us to talk us... Talk about. I will link the Discord down below. Don't forget to read and react to the rules when you're joining. If you want to give us ideas as to what you would like to hear us talk about. Thank you for joining. The conversations are... Good, but the coffee is so much better. Absolutely. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>